Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to make a computer icon. Let's go to our computer. I'm going to use a program to do this called the GIMP, G-I-M-P, and you can download this from GIMP.org. That's G-I-M-P.org. I've already got it downloaded and installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to click on New. I'm going to make my icon 64 by 64. I'm going to click OK. This gives me just a little bit of space to work with and there's a lot of advanced tools that you can use over here. There's a paint bucket where you can fill it with a fill it with a color. And you got a color chooser here where you can choose other colors. But I'm basically just going to have a white background and I'm going to use a paintbrush to draw a blue letter D basically. D for Dave. So there's my there's my D, right? there. It's not a very good looking D. But I'm going to leave that as it is. Now, once you have what you would like to see drawn, uh, I'm going to click on the File button and then I'm going to go to Save As. Now I'm going to check this browser for other folder so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to check Select File Type. And I'm going to scroll down until I see Windows Icon, Microsoft Windows Icon with the extension ICO. I'm going to leave that selected. I'm going to check that button again. And I'm going to check Browse for Other Folders. That way you can see where I'm saving it. I'm going to save this in the Pictures folder. Uh, this is basically under My Documents and then Pictures. I'm going to name it uh, My Icon. And then I'm going to click Save. It's important that you have .ico at the end there as well. So I'm going to click Save. Uh, it's going to ask me what uh, type of uh, file I would like to save it as. Just go with the default and click Save. So I'm going to close the GIMP now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a desktop icon on my computer. I'm just going to go to the Notepad program. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click Send To. And then click on Desktop. That creates a shortcut on my desktop. So I'm going to change the icon on this by right clicking and going to Properties change icon. Now let's click browse and there's our icon file that we've just created. Select it, click open and then click OK. And then you have to go down to the bottom of the window there and click on OK. So I'm going to apply that and there you go our notepad icon has just changed to the new one I've just drawn. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to make a computer icon.